Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata and today I'm going to share with you my views and thoughts of the Vita dress from Bella Loves Patterns. This is a new pattern. I believe it's going to be released shortly, but I'm going to share with you my testing experience and I hope that you enjoyed this video. So let's meet in the next clip to chat. So this is the Vita dress and I will have an up close shot of this on screen for you guys to look at. It is a Victorian style dress or shirt. Or should I say it's a Victorian style dress and bodice. So there is a puff sleeve version which is version A and there's a also um, a necktie option or a bottom loop option. There is a version B which is a bishop sleeve dress or bodice. The bodice for the bishop sleeve is version D and the bodice for the puff sleeve is version C. Now I made the bishop bodice which is version D. I used some um, sari silk that I received from my boss a few years ago. So uh, let me take a moment now and I will share with you the fabric. Here we go. So this is my bodice. This is the Vita. Um, I like the pattern a lot. I love the bishop sleeves. As you can see here, it's really pretty. And I like the bow detail in the back. Now this is a silk fabric and I felt like I'm not good at sewing fabric such as this because I don't do it often and I felt like if I had a lot more experience I would have known how to deal with the neckline. Um, it's not as snug um, as I wanted it to be. You guys will see in the video. I wanted the neckline to be like totally snug. I'm not good at sharing either. So if you guys have any tips on how to share better to make sure that the fabric um, shrinks down really nicely when you are um, sharing it so it can just hold and hug your neck the way it should. That's what I felt I needed for this this particular fabric. I think if I I use a different fabric, I would have a, a, a whole other um, style going on here. It would definitely hug my neck. Um, but I really do like the pattern. I love it. It's, it's such a great pattern. The design is great. It's just so on trend right now. I made a size 12 because the size 10 I felt would be too small because I just have such a large large. I have wide or broad shoulders that I need that extra around the the bust area to help me with my with my shoulders so it's a lot easier to work with. So I went up a size. Um, I After doing this I could have gone down a size because there is a little um, ease around the waist area as you will see in the videos but overall I do like this pattern a whole bunch. I think I did a really good job ma matching the cuff with the design here. Um, I'll give you guys a close up of that. And the bow is really nice. Um, if you know how sari fabrics are, it's like a huge length, like seven yards long, and there are different pieces. So probably three yards would be this um, design, and then um, there will be a break and there will be this design here with that green and then there'll be like um, a silk scarf design of this color only and then it starts back again with this this print all the way over and then doing it again so it's um, a full run it's kind of like a panel so I had to cut it to um, Put these pieces together and match them up and I felt very successful matching this section up. Bring it closer if you all see. Here we go. So there it is. I feel like this turned out really good. So I joined it right between here. You can see that. And this is one piece here. And this is the neckline which I felt could have been done much better and a lot tighter and on this pattern there is like two rows of sharing to add that gather over there and here is the bow in the back and it's a great length so 
So let's move on to the video. I hope you guys enjoy the close up, the 360 of this video, and I will meet you at the end. So now you're here again, knocking at my door. A little too late for, I'm sorry for. The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord. And I started to fade into your grave. See, I finally opened up my eyes. And I saw me coming back to life. That I'd be better. There you have it. What do you guys think of the video? Um, I wore white, white jeans because I wasn't sure. Not that I wasn't sure. I just felt like I wanted the green to really pop out. And that's why I went with white jeans. I love that flats. And if you guys are accustomed to watching my videos, you know that I don't wear a lot of flats unless I'm... <laughs> Unless, unless I'm running, um, I don't wear a lot of flats, but I actually really like that slip on and I may just have to add a few more slip ons to to my wardrobe, but the It looks so good. I love the sleeve. I can't wait for this pattern to be released and if it's released before I post this video I will put the date under here and there will be a link in the description box to Bella Loves pattern so you guys can get yours and um, there will be a post on Instagram as well. So I will share all those links with you guys. Overall, I enjoyed working with Isabel. She was amazing to work with. Every corner that I had issue with every time I I reached out to her she was just so helpful and she created these videos to help us as well along the way um, yeah it was a good positive experience and, and I love the, the details in the pattern the instructions are pretty clear and that's something that you know we always have to vet out when you're doing uh, a pattern testing so there are a lot of people that were you know, taking their time and going through it and we're making changes to make it more clear for um, when it gets released that there are no issues. So it's been a, a few weeks we've been working on this and I think all the kinks have been ironed out and the launch will be pretty soon. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, uh, God, I totally drew a blank there. If you enjoyed this video, yes, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, check me on Instagram. I'm going to start posting a little more frequently now that I'm in the full swing of making videos. So thank you so much for taking your, your time to spend a few minutes here on my channel. I do appreciate that. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I hope that it's bright and sunny wherever you are. And if not, just let that just let that shine enter you and have a wonderful day there are too many sad stuff going on in the world right now that i think we should try our best to make everyone's day a little bit brighter because that goes a long way thank you so much have a wonderful day and i will meet you in my next upload bye bye